When people think of raptors, they often picture those clever and deadly pack-hunting dinosaurs from big blockbuster films. While that idea has some basis in science, the real story of prehistoric raptors is even cooler. These dinosaurs, officially known as Dromaeosaurids, were a mixed bunch of feathered predators that roamed the Earth for millions of years. They weren't all the same. Some were huge and towered over humans, while others were about the size of a turkey and just as fierce when it came to hunting small prey. So far, scientists have discovered nearly 30 types of raptors, and we'll be highlighting just 10 of the biggest ones, ranked by their overall length. So starting off from the bottom, number 10, Sorarnitholestes. The dinosaur was around in North America during the late Cretaceous period. Sorarnitholestes was around 5.9 feet long and a weight of only about 25 pounds. It wasn't as massive as some of the more famous raptors, but it was quick and nimble, about the same length as a human. Its name means lizard bird thief which shows just how closely related it is to birds and its skills as a predator. Discoveries of its fossils, including a well-preserved skeleton, have given us some great info about its body. It likely had a sharp sense of smell and a unique tooth structure that might have helped it preen its feathers. The next one, number 9, Velociraptor. Now, a real Velociraptor was way smaller than what you usually see in movies. It was about 6 feet long and only around 2 feet tall at the hips, and chances are it had feathers too. One of its coolest features was the big curved claw on each foot, which scientists think was more for grabbing and holding on to prey than for slashing. This quick predator played an important role in its ecosystem and has always fascinated paleontologists. One of the most amazing fossil discovery, called the fighting dinosaurs, shows a velociraptor caught mid-fight with the protoceratops, giving us direct proof of how it hunted. This intriguing dinosaur still sparks a lot of interest and helps us learn more about how birds evolved. Now at number 8, we have Dromaeosaurus. While not the largest or most famous of the raptors, Dromaeosaurus was a powerfully built animal. This mid-sized dinosaur measured about 6.6 .6 feet long and roamed around during the late Cretaceous period in what we now call Alberta, Canada and parts of the western United States. What really stood out about Dromaeosaurus was its short, strong skull and deep jaws, which were surprisingly more powerful than those of its famous relative, Velociraptor. This strength hints that it likely used its jaws for crushing and tearing into its prey, instead of just slicing through meat with its teeth. All these unique traits give us some cool insights into the different ways Dromaeosaurids hunted. Number 7, we have Balor. Balor was a medium-sized raptor, measuring around 5.9 to 6.9 feet long, making it pretty comparable to Dromaeosaurus. Some sources even suggest that it might have been heavier than Dromaeosaurus because of its sturdier build. What really stands out about Balor is its feet. Unlike other raptors that just have one big sickle claw on their second toe, Balor had two of those claws, one on the first toe and one on the second. Plus, it had a short, fused metatarsus and smaller hands, hinting at a different way of hunting. Instead of being a fast runner, it was probably more of a powerful predator that relied on its double claws and stocky frame to take down its prey, kind of like a kickboxer. Next up, number 6, Adasaurus. A type of Dromaeosaurid dinosaur that roamed Mongolia during the late Cretaceous period. This dinosaur was about 7.9 feet long, making it a mid-sized raptor, though some estimates say it could be even bigger. What sets Adasaurus apart from a lot of other raptors is its smaller sickle claw on the second toe. Unlike the larger, sharply curved claws found in dinosaurs like Velociraptor and Deinonychus, Adasaurus had a smaller, less fancy claw. This suggests it might have hunted differently, relying more on its strong jaws and quick speed instead of using that signature claw to catch prey. This interesting trait gives us a peek into the different evolutionary paths within the raptor family. 5. Deinonychus 
The Velociraptors in Jurassic Park were actually inspired by a dinosaur called Deinonychus. This raptor roamed around North America during the early Cretaceous period. Deinonychus was a pretty fierce predator, stretching around 11 feet long and over 130 pounds, which is way bigger than the Velociraptor that most people picture. There's still some back and forth on whether they hunted in packs, but finding several Deinonychus skeletons near a big herbivore hints they might have just worked together or shared a meal. This dinosaur totally influenced the raptors we see in the Jurassic Park series, leaving a big mark on pop culture. Now at number 4, we have a Achillobator. Found in Mongolia, the fossil remains of this raptor are fragmentary, with estimates suggesting it was around 15 to 16 feet long and weighing up to 770 pounds. Achillobator was one of the largest raptors ever found. Unlike the simmer and quicker raptors like Velociraptor, it was built like a tank, with strong legs and a stocky body. This hints that it might have been a heavy-duty ambush predator, using its strength and surprise to catch prey instead of chasing them down at high speeds. With its strong jaw and impressive size, it was definitely a top hunter in its habitat. On the third spot, Ostraraptor. Astroraptor roam around Argentina during the late Cretaceous period and is known to be one of the biggest raptors found in the southern hemisphere, measuring about 16 to 20 feet long. It had some unusual features, like a long, flat skull and short arms, which is something you usually see in huge theropods, like Tyrannosaurus rex. Its teeth were also different, small, conical, and not serrated, leading some paleontologists to think it might have eaten fish. This mix of being big, having short arms, and those unique teeth shows just how varied the hunting strategies were among dromaeosaurids and gives us a peek into the unique challenges of its environment in South America. Number 2. Dakota Raptor A well-known raptor from the Hell Creek Formation in what's now South Dakota. This beast measured about 17 to 20 feet long, making it one of the largest raptors. But there's some drama surrounding Dakota raptor's story. Some of the original fossils ended up being from other creatures, like turtles and a big oviraptorosaur, which sparked debates about its authenticity. Still, there are parts that belong to a big dromaeosaurid. Plus, the discovery of quill knobs on its arm bones was a game changer giving us solid proof that this big raptor had feathers. This hints that Dakota raptor was a serious feathered predator that played a key role in its ecosystem, hunting medium-sized prey among the giants. And our number one, Utah raptor. Utah raptor is known as the biggest raptor out there, reaching lengths of about 20 to 23 feet and weighing over a thousand pounds, which makes it a serious top predator. Unlike other raptors that were built for speed and quick maneuvers, Utah Raptor had a bulkier shape, suggesting it might have been an ambush hunter. One of its coolest features was the giant sickle-shaped claw on each foot, measuring up to 9 inches at the bone and over a foot long with a keratin covering. These killing claws weren't really for slicing open its prey like people used to think. They were more for stabbing and holding on to big animals. Plus, there is fossil evidence showing it could have been social, with several individuals found together hinting that they might have hunted in packs. And that is all for today. Thanks for watching and catch you in the next one. Take care.